Something else we're tracking closer to us. A strong geomagnetic storm is heading our way tomorrow night. We were talking about how we just saw this pass over on Monday. So, Ashley, are we going to have some good chances to see this again? Well, as of now, it looks as though it might peak overnight closer to dawn. So maybe not as great of a chance tonight, but that chance is still there about G3 tonight. Tomorrow night's really going to be the day or the night where we'll likely see at least the most activity. I'll show you right now for at least the the forecast and keep in mind this changes frequently. So this is Noah's Aurora forecast and the latest they're saying a G3 out of five. However, again, it may peak closer to dawn, so we might not see much, but there's still that chance. It's tomorrow night when there is a greater chance that we'll see it here and we have to watch for cloud cover, but it is looking more promising because yes, there is that severe G4 geomagnetic storm watch for Thursday or Thursday morning through Thursday night. If you're going to chase the northern lights, move away from city lights. Patience is key. Again, this is not a slam dunk, not saying it's for sure going to happen, but everything has to come together for us to see this. So the best bet is to check Noah's Aurora 30 minute forecast and get into uh, go to a place, the mountains, where at least you have a better chance to see it it'll be darker as well and so you can always follow the latest on king5.com as well and we'll keep you updated if anything does come into fruition but right now we are tracking a couple of showers moving across the northern coast the strait right now and we could have some of these showers holding together as they move to the east in the coming hours but looking more at the islands the northwest interior the north interior in general in general but tonight we're going to keep things mostly dry once we get uh, rid of this little disturbance that's moving overhead and tomorrow through the next couple of days our weather is going to be super quiet Friday we could have more clouds in place but it's still going to be pleasant and temperatures will be where they should be this time of year a beautiful view seen from Bellingham we have more sun here in Seattle but you can also see it's perfect kite flying weather a little breezy out on the water 58 degrees mostly cloudy skies meanwhile in Tacoma you see blue sky, the mountains starting to come out just a little bit as we wrap up our Wednesday. 62 degrees right now, camera's shaking a little bit. And overnight, once again, we'll have partly cloudy, maybe mostly cloudy at times. So that's another reason why it may not be the greatest viewing conditions. Tomorrow night's looking much better. So overnight lows, temperatures will be in the low and mid 40s and then tomorrow warming up nicely into the low and mid 60s, except for uh, areas such as Port Townsend and, and Port Angeles, about 58 degrees. But we'll start the day and end the day with mainly clear skies, a couple of passing clouds tomorrow night. But again, tomorrow's really going to be stunning. Friday will have partly sunny sky Saturday and Sunday will be the warmest days and we'll have nothing but sunshine. Maybe some areas of fog to kick off our days basically tomorrow morning all the way through Sunday morning, but then we get into Monday. We'll kick the day off partly sunny, but then we're going to have our next system moving in and that's when our weather patterns really going to flip and really going to change. We'll hold rain chances in the forecast and that's when it looks as though we'll become more active with some daily rain chances and temperatures look to be cooler as well and even beyond the seven day forecast doesn't look like we have any 70s in sight after early next week.